Hi everyone, Nicholas Buffettis here from the Junior Senior School here in Sunny Cyprus. And today's tutorial is all about Sway and PowerPoint and bringing these two together to create something truly made in heaven. Now, most people think of Sway and PowerPoint as separate things because they're both related with presenting or creating a presentation. However, they both got their advantages. Uh, for example, Sway is just so super easy to use and create a presentation style Sway, which you don't need to worry about all the bells and whistles that you do with, with PowerPoint. You know, just click Remix and you just got another design. PowerPoint though is much more powerful, a lot more features, um, and takes a bit more time to create and set up because you really got to think about your design. So putting these two together creates a fantastic opportunity to share material and present material in a really easy way, especially for your students. Now, I've got to give a big shout out to Helen Gokufa. Yes, I did get her permission to use her name. Uh, Helen is a fantastic educator, 100% dedicated to making sure her students are engaged with any means possible, whether it's using technology, decorating a fantastic room, creating a fantastic learning environment. You've been an inspiration all these years. And I was inspired to create this video because of a resource that Helen had sent to me because she wanted to make her resources more available to her students. So let's see what this is all about and let's get started. Okay, first off, I'm going to start off with showing you what was sent to me by Helen. So this is a sway that Helen had created. And the concept behind this sway is to actually make resources for this component, component two of Christianity resources. That's right, Helen is an RE teacher, amongst other things. And she wanted to make this component and all the resources for this component easily and readily available for her students. So... The idea behind it is a, a, a sway, and in this sway, we've got different links here, which are resources, different resources for this component. And you can see the naming convention is really good as well. So it's actually component two, and it's got here lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, and then a brief description of what uh, that lesson is all about. So what I want to have a look at is this one here first. The first link is actually a link to a shared PowerPoint. So if I click on this, that's right, the first thing it will do, it will say it's going to leave the Sway. So I'm going to click on OK there, and it's going to open the PowerPoint. Now, this is the first thing that I wanted to uh, avoid. I don't like it when we click on things or students have to click on things. It opens another page because it, it makes it a little bit more confusing or difficult to navigate um, if they're using a mobile phone. So I'm just going to go back. That's one of them. You can see it's an amazing PowerPoint. It's not just a PowerPoint for... Um, essentially just presenting in class this is a PowerPoint which is going to be used as a resource for revision as well so it's very nicely planned out and designed okay the next one is I'm going to show you th this link here for example this is a link to another sway so here we've got a sway which is linking to another sway which is another fantastic uh, way of using links to sways and there you go so again and we can see here here that Helen is actually moving away a little bit from PowerPoint, moving to Sway because it's just so much easier just to put some material together, make it look really nice just by clicking that Remix button. And it's just so much simpler to create something very, very quickly. It's slightly easier than PowerPoint. OK, so the idea is I'm going to show you a couple of ways that we can, I don't want to say improve, just a different way that we can actually present this material within this Sway. Let's get started with that. So the first thing I want to show you is this. Here's a PowerPoint which I've got here. I'm going to use my little PowerPoint here. There's only eight slides, but I want you to notice number one, here we've got a link to a PDF. So if I click on that, it will actually open a PDF resource, which is on my OneDrive, okay? And that's in my PowerPoint. And then I've also got down in my PowerPoint, which is something really good as well. I've got a one of my videos uh, linked in this slide as well. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because if we've got this in a PowerPoint, these links and videos will actually play within the PowerPoint. And we want to retain that when we're actually sharing it in a sway using the methods I show you. Well, in some cases, we won't. Okay, so the first one that I want to show you is how we can share a PowerPoint as a link into a sway. So here we go, let's get started. So I'm going to just close this here. I'm going to go to my folder. Here's my 
file. I'm going to right click on this, share, and this is just a box standard way of sharing files from OneDrive. I'm going to change the properties to can view. I don't want them changing that. And I'm going to click on copy link. And that's it. Here is the share link which everyone can use. So I'm going to open my Sway now. I've got a Sway here which I've prepared. And this one here is how we can actually share a link to a PowerPoint. So that's just the title. I'm going to click here in Sway and I'm going to put text expert systems. Okay, and now I'm simply going to select that. I'm going to click on link and I'm going to paste my link, which I copied. And there we go. That's actually put the link there. I can give it a bit of emphasis. Now, remember, this isn't a, a, a tutorial on Sway. Now, play. And we can see here now from my Sway, that's how we can actually add a quick link there. And clicking on that would actually show my PowerPoint. Now, again, it's going to leave from here. This is exactly what Helen did. So I haven't done anything fancy or new. I just want to demonstrate that from here, from PowerPoint Online, you can actually click on the links and the videos will also work if you click on them. There we go, that works. And we can click away from that. Okay, so the next one I want to show you now is all about extracting the slides from a PowerPoint presentation as pictures. Now, I had the need for this very recently, so I'm sure somebody else will probably have this need at some point, so it's a good tool to talk about. So here we go, I'm gonna open up my PowerPoint again. And what I wanna do, I want to export all of these slides as images at separate images and automatically those images are going to be placed in this folder here that you can see in the background so i'm going to have this minimized like this so you can actually see it happening while we're doing it so i'm going to go to file save a copy and here where i've got the options how to save it i'm not going to choose a powerpoint i'm going to click here and i'm going to choose jpeg here we go a jpeg file interchange format that one there now as soon as i click save it's going to ask me well what do i want to save do i want to save only the current slide that i was looking at as a picture or do you want to save the whole thing all slides i'm going to click on all slides there we go and it's done it and you can see it's generated a new folder here in my folder where my presentation was and if i open that Look at that, it's just made a picture of every single slide automatically and actually named them as well. One, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. So let's see how we can add these in a sway. So from here, I'm gonna to go to edit mode. and uh, This one now, I'm going to show you how we can add these as images. I like using a group, so I'm just gonna add another card here and I'm gonna choose the group one. Doesn't matter which group you're gonna choose, I'm just gonna choose one for now. And then I go and change the group type because I get more options. It's easier to understand looking at these, uh, the thumbnails of these groups here. I like this one here. Okay, this one here, which is a slideshow, gives you the, the little tabs at the bottom as well. But you can play around with this. Now, from here, I'm simply going to bring my folder here. I'm going to select all of my images and just drag them in here. That's it. Now, what it's going to do, it's going to add them in order as well. You can see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now, as soon as this is finished uploading all those images, we're going to have a look and see what that looks like. Okay, we can see here, these have now just been exported. Perfect. I'm just going to, there you go, collapse that so it's all together. In fact, I'm going to click on this now, and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And let's go see what that looks like. Now, straight away, one good advantage of this is it will actually have the slides inside my Sway. So students don't need to go away from here. They can just see the slides within the Sway. The disadvantage to this is that any links that we have, like this one here, cannot be clicked on. Okay, It will expand it so you can see it full screen as well. And you can close that, but you don't need to leave the sway. Problem is, links don't work. And the other one is, videos won't play. Because these are just images. But the good thing is, if you don't have videos and you don't have links, this is a nice, simple way, because they can easily click on the slide that they want within sway and not leave sway. Okay, so let's look at the next one. We want to export PowerPoint as a video. 
Yes, PowerPoint will export as a video and save it as an MP4, and you can actually modify how long it takes before it goes from one slide to another. So let's have a quick look at that. So once again, I'm going to go to my PowerPoint. Let's just go back in this folder here. There we are. And here's my PowerPoint. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to File, and this time I'm going to Export. Now, when I choose Export, I can choose, and we're going to look at Animated GIF as well, I'm going to choose here Create a Video. Now, in these settings here, it asks me here if how many seconds to spend on each slide. Remember, it's a video. You can't start and stop and move forward. It's just going to play the whole thing, slide one, slide two, slide three, so on and so forth, in order. So how long do you want for each slide? I'm just going to leave it at five seconds. Okay, so I'm going to go to Create Video. That's it. Now I'm going to choose where I want this to be saved. I'm going to save this exactly where I am right now. And it's going to save it as an MPEG-4. There's the name. And click on Save. Now it's just saying here, it cannot include the video. Now because I've got a video in here, it's not going to play the video. So once again, just like pictures, I'm going to continue without the media. And it's not going to play that video. Okay, down here in the bottom right corner, you can see it's actually creating that video here. And it's nearly finished. Finished. Right, so if we go now and have a look inside our folder, we now see we have a video. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click. I'm going to share this again, just like I did with the PowerPoint, nothing special. I'm going to share this as a link. I'm going to make it an edit link. So no, actually a can view link and copy link there. And there we go, I'm gonna copy. And now I can go to my Sway. Let's just go back to edit. And here what I'm going to do, I'm going to do any, well not animation, we've got this one here as a video. So I'm going to add a text card. Text, I'm going to again say expert systems. And I'm going to select that, add it as a link, control V, and there we go. Let's just give some emphasis to that. And let's just see what that looks like. Oh, that's a bit big. Let's make it smaller. Play. So this was the link to the PowerPoint. Then we've got link to pictures. And here we've got a link to a video. Let's click on this. Again, it's going to open this outside and it's going to play the video. Now, again, things like this, and every five seconds, it's gonna to go to the next slide, another five seconds, the next slide, but what we can see is it's a video. We don't have access to be able to click on links, okay? So if you do want to export your videos, uh, your PowerPoints and videos, you can, and you can share them in a sway. Okay, let's do the next one. We can also add the video file directly in the sway so it won't take you out of the sway so let's just go click on this one i'm going to add media i'm going to choose a video and over here where it opens up i'm going to say from my device now i need to find my video it's already found it there it is there and i'm going to click on open and that's just going to take two seconds to upload this so depending on the size of the video that's how long it's going to take to upload and we can see the process bar here there we go, it's finished off now, it's added the video. Now, I don't prefer this method, it actually is quite time consuming, so really defeats the purpose, but it can be done. Let's see what that looks like. So first of all, I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger, and go to play, and here we go. So that's the pictures, here's the link, and here's the video inside, directly inside Sway, so again, you don't need to leave Sway to see the video because it's been added into the Sway. Okay, but as I said, if you're gonna add a lot of these, especially if you're going to be adding resources uh, for students, again, links and videos inside the PowerPoint will not work. And plus it takes quite a bit of time for it to upload the video. Okay, let's move on to the next one, animation of a presentation. So essentially it's exactly the same as what I've done before. I'm just gonna stop the video there. We're gonna to go to our PowerPoint, and again, I'm gonna to go to File, Export, and from here, I can create an animated GIF. Now, animated GIF, the good thing is, it actually is um, quite
quite a bit faster because it's a GIF. You can actually change the amount of time you go from one slide to another. I'm going to leave it at one second, but uh, a GIF has less frames per second. So it's actually a smaller file, kind of uploads a bit easier. But anyway, create the GIF. Again, you're going to choose where you're going to save this. So I'm just going to go put this where I've got my other work here. And I'm going to save it there. Save. And we can see that pop up. Media online sources can be included. And right, so again, it says it can't include the video which I've got inside the PowerPoint. I'm just going to click on continue. And then if we have a look here, it's actually made the GIF much, much easier. So let's go and add that inside our Sway as well. So here we're going to go to edit and I've got a title here, animation of presentation. So I'm going to add here. Again, I'm going to add media. You can add a link. I'm going to upload here. I'm going to choose my GIF. Now this is going to be much, much faster because GIFs are quite small. There we go. That's been uploaded. So let's just go see what that looks like. So that's the video and down here I've got the GIF and you can see that just flicks through. Now with, with, the, with the GIF, you don't have the opportunity to stop and continue like you do with the video. And again, those links and the videos don't play. So now we're down to the final one, embedding the PowerPoint. And this is the one which is probably the most useful. So let's just jump straight into that. So now to create an embed code, you cannot do it from Office directly. You have to go through the online version of PowerPoint. So I'm just going to close this and I'm going to open up my PowerPoint online. Actually, I'm going to open up my OneDrive and from there open up my PowerPoint. So here's my OneDrive and here I should have my PowerPoint. There we go. Sway PowerPoint. And here's my PowerPoint. I'm going to click this now while I'm online. There we go. Okay. So now what I want to do is from the online version, I'm going to click on File. I'm going to go to Share. And here I get the embed code. And I can choose. Now, with an embed code, you can actually decide on the dimensions. It doesn't really make that much of a difference in a sway because you can choose how big it's going to be within the sway. This is more if you're going to put this in a web page. So I'm just going to leave that small one there to demonstrate. And I'm simply going to copy this code. So there's the code. I just need to select all of this. It was already selected for me, but anyway, control C, close. Now I'm going to go to my sway. Here it is here. And I'm going to add another card at the bottom here. And this time I'm going to choose media and I'm going to choose embed. And I'm going to paste my code. And that's it. Now look what you get. And let's just make this a bit bigger as well and play. So this is a fantastic way of adding your PowerPoint into a sway the best method yet so here's my powerpoint it plays directly from sway the links also work if i click on that look it will open up that link that resource perfect and it will also i can jump to the slides i want it will also play the videos which have been added whether they're from youtube or whatever look at that now, if you've got a whole load of resources and they are all PowerPoint, you can add them if it's for the same chapter, same unit. You can add one after the other and your students can actually watch and follow these directly from the Sway page. How cool is that? Okay, the last one that I want to show you is how we can embed a Sway in a Sway. So if we look at Helen's resource here, instead of having to link or click to open up the other Sway, actually view the Sways within the Sway. So to do that, all you have to do is create an embed code from the sway you want to add, or the sways. So I'm going to go to my library of sways here. I'm just going to choose any one that I've got. Let's just have a look. So oh, this is one I did a while ago, a long time ago with Cypress. Here we go. So I'm just going to open this. This one belongs to me. So I can click create here an embed code, get embed code. There it is there. Copy to clipboard. Now I'm going to go to my Sway where I want to share as a resource. I'm going to add another card and give it a heading. Embed. Would help if I was typing. 
And now I'm going to add, just add another media embed and copy and paste the link there. And that's it. Now I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. You can play around with the sizes as you want. There we go. So let that load. And here we go. Look at that. I've got the sway playing in the sway. And I can actually navigate the sway within the sway without having to leave the sway. So in this case, all of these sways here, which are links to sways from the second one down, they could have been added as embed codes of the sways and they can actually see the resources within that same sway. How fantastic is that? Sway is just awesome. So that's it guys, if you've learned something new, if you think you're gonna use any of this, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And here's what we've done today. So quick recap, we've created a link from uh, to uh, a PowerPoint, we created a share link, we added a share link to make it accessible from the Sway. We've done exported a PowerPoint, uh, all the slides, we've exported them as pictures, as images, JPEG files, and we've made a little slideshow here. Problem is, links and videos don't work. We created a video of a PowerPoint, so we exported it as an MP4, and we added the link to it here, but we also uploaded the video within the Sway to make it accessible from the Sway. Again, disadvantage, links and videos within the PowerPoint will not work. Here we made an animation. Animations are much faster. You don't have control over the slide that it's going to go to, but it does make for an easy way of transferring information because it's a much smaller file than a video file. And the fantastic way, probably the best of all, or not probably, definitely the best of all, we can actually create an embed code of our PowerPoint, but you have to be on PowerPoint online, create the embed code and add that embed code. And that will play the PowerPoint within the Sway. And if you click on it, you can actually use the control buttons here and make it full screen. Perfect. And that will open it in PowerPoint online. Okay, and then the last one I showed you is how we can actually embed a Sway into another sway and you could just keep adding all your sways within the same sway if they're on the same topic hope you liked it guys take care see you in the next video